Hello, and welcome back to Tip of the Week. This is part two in a series of a handful of videos on working with coordination between architectural, structural, and mechanical uh, Revit applications. The first video we covered setting up work sets. This one we're going to talk about linking and how the models work together. So we're going to jump on over to structure and see how it interacts with the architecture, and we'll also uh, dabble into the MEP. So let's take a look. Here I am, I'm in uh, Revit architecture and if I hit the home tab you can see that and we've just created the, or this model and broke it into work sets now just to verify we go to collaborate and we go to work sets and you'll see uh, that we have exterior scan landscape shared levels and grids and our general work set which contains uh, the interior stuff etc now I've saved this and I'm gonna uh, close out of it right now so I'm gonna drop this down to hit the close button alright now we're going to go over to structure now. So drop this down. We'll go back to Revit structure. Now in this one, I'm going to drop this down. Go to open um, a project. Actually, it's something new. Sorry about that. And we're going to go browsing. Since we're doing a new structural model, we'll hit open on that. We hit OK. Now we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to link in the architectural plan with work sets. That's the one we did in the previous video. And we'll link it in. We'll discuss different as aspects of coordination. So here we go. We go up top and you'll see insert. Under here we'll hit Revit link. Now out here we have on the tip of the week we have our architectural plan with work sets and we're going to click on that and we're going to hit open. Now before we hit the open button, key very important part here and I almost moved too fast, don't want to miss it. See positioning? Positioning is very important. If we hit auto center to center and then the building changes or the extent of the model change the center is going to be off and it's going to throw it. So the trick is to go to origin by origin or using shared coordinates. Shared coordinates we'll cover in another video. So I'm going to just go origin origin, keep it straight forward, and we hit open. It's going to bring it in and place it in the model. That may be nowhere near these uh, these tags, but that's okay. So there it is. It placed it in the model. Now, if you watched the previous video, we discussed how Revit looks at objects, right? Now notice that I'm going to go to 3D. And I want you to notice we came in. First of all, in Revit structure, it always comes in wireframe, not hidden. So I'm going to change it over to hidden. And you'll notice what happened. It brought in the, what it considered structure, which is our steel. It brought in the floor slabs. And it brought in that one wall, this one here, because we noted it as a bearing wall. So notice the other walls don't show up. So it's important to understand how the structure guys see your model. This is what they see straight out the box. So if you if your walls are all mistagged, some bearing, some not bearing, some this, some that, they may get a mixed bag of information on their side. So at least you understand the bearing and non-bearing and how it transfers through. Now I'm also going to pop up something on the desktop here. I'm going to type in VP. I'll just right click. I like the shortcuts. But there it is. View properties. Okay. In here you'll see it says discipline structural. Now if I switch this over, I'm going to switch it over to architectural. Watch what happens. It shows the architectural model. Hey, pretty cool. Now um, I'm going to type in VB again. Excuse me, not VB. VP as in Victor Paul. Now we come in here and we can drop this down. We hit, let's say uh, coordination. So we hit OK, and we'll see it all the, again components come in. So by setting these things up, you get the different looks and feel of how they load up. Now let's take a look at some other aspects. If I go to level one. Okay. Notice that I'm not, I'm not seeing certain things that, that come in. So we'll go to level one, and here it is. Now, uh, again, you may notice certain things showing and not showing, because that's with the, the partially with the structure guys. Now, I'm also going to go to the, let's say, east elevation or one of these elevations, and here we are. Now, in this elevation, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just check the view properties, and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to set it to discipline, architectural and we're going to hit OK on that and we should pretty much see the architectural model. Now the cool thing about um, Revit is you'll notice here I have a set of levels here those are actually from the linked model and I have a set of levels in my model. Now what we can do is we can use some copy monitor tools to make uh, some neat things happen. Now I'm going to leave the original level but I'm going to take this level and I'm just going to delete it. Okay, It's going to come up and say you know, it's going to take out the others and that's fine. Now I could delete it, or I could um, align it. Well, let's use we'll use the align command. Um, 
and then we'll use copy monitor for these. So we have three different scenarios. Now when we come up top, we have collaborate. You'll see this thing called copy monitor. Now what this is going to do is uh, be in the structure, guys. That's where we are now. We're in the structural uh, version. We want to keep an eye on what the uh, architects are doing. Same with mechanical. They want to find out what's moving and what's happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and or monitor the grids and levels. Now when I se hit select link, You'll see here, right here, it may be hard to see in the video, but it says, uh, let's let it pop up. You'll see it'll copy grids, levels, columns, walls, floors, and openings from the link model into the host project. Uh, this is going to set up a relationship for us. Now we're going to select link. Now when I select the link, which I'll do here, I select the link, and you'll see it pops up here. Now being that these two levels are on the same level right now, 0, 0, I can hit monitor. I'm going to come over here and I pick this one, and then I pick, let's say, this one. See if I can get both of them. That's the thing, you got to pick them uh, each. So I come over here, and again, we'll take monitor. I'm going to hit this one, and this one. Okay. And we hit finish. Now, if all goes well, what we should see is when I pick on that grid in my drawing, I should see the little monitor tool. A little, a little uh, heartbeat tool, like in a hospital. Uh, that is saying these two levels are being monitored, meaning if level one in the architectural model moves, let's say it moves up to uh, six inches, we will be alerted in the structure. Now, we have our own grid system, and the architect has their own grid system. They're cross-referenced individually, which is nice, not just linked uh, the model, but we're actually cross-referencing data now. Now, in these two, notice they're out of whack, so being on the structure side, uh, what I'm going to do is, this is mine, so I can move it. Uh, the other level two is actually the one from the architect. So what I'm going to do is, just for simplicity, I'll go to my modify tool, align, I pick this one, okay, and then I pick this one, and I can lock them, okay. Um, and we're good to go there. Now, I don't even know if we have to mod lock it because we're going to be monitoring, so I'm going to leave it unlocked. Now, this time I go to collaborate again, copy monitor, select the link, we select the object, and now I say monitor. I'll say monitor this guy and this guy. You see the little heart monitor pops up? Sounds good. I hit finish on that. Now, I'll hit it one more time, and this time I'm going to do something different. We're going to use select current link, okay? And I didn't have to really get out of it, and I'm going to hit copy monitor. What that's going to do is when I hit copy monitor, I come over here, I can actually hit multiple, and this is a real power tool, because I could do a hundred levels at one time. Grab one, two, hold my control key down, two, three. Now, I hit finish once, that's going to say I've finished my selection set, and it says they're a little different, but that's okay. Alright, and it says that the, the level head circles are a little different. Again, not a big deal there. But we've mon we're monitoring it, and this time I'm going to hit finish. Now what we're doing is, we're actually watching their levels. So, you may not be able to see it right now, but later on we turn this off. If I was just, let's say, uh, right-click, hide in view, element. Okay, notice we have our levels here. Okay, let me hit undo on that. Now, that's nice, but let's also do grids. I'm going to go to level one. I want to make sure if some of these are moved around that they I can track them again in my world. Copy monitor, select the link, select the link, and what I'm doing is copy. Now, again, I'll hit multiple, just to make my life easy, and then I'll use a little crossing tool. And then I mean, hold the control key down and select these two. Again, I hit finish for the selection set. It's going to say my tag's a little different, not a big deal there. And then I hit finish, and we're copy monitoring all this information. Now, at this point, you're thinking, okay, so what does that really mean to me? Let's take a look at, we've got some structure in here, and that's actually from the, uh, let's say, the architects. That's in the architectural model. Let's say I'm going to come in here and put my steel in. So again, I'm in structural. So the structural guy wants to put in his columns. So we'll put a column in, and we'll put a structural column in. And just so we can see the difference, instead of using the same uh, beam there, I'm going to come in here and put something concrete, just so we can visually see the difference. Now, what I'm going to do is hit on grids. Okay, Just a fun little tool here that we can use. Uh, we do a crossing, and we hit uh, finish selection. And you'll see the concrete. Now again, I'm doing this for visual aspects. So I've placed them in. Okay, we placed them on the grids, and the grids are monitored, okay, to the 
architectural plan. And that's a lot of craziness going on there. But now, if the architect makes changes to his building, our model is monitoring that. So let's take a look. We're going to go hit here, and I'm going to hit Save As. And we'll save it as a project. And we'll save it with the other stuff, tip of the week. And we'll call this, let's say, Structure. Structural Plan. OK? Now we hit Save on that. OK. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about dealing with the architectural model. Now, one of the things you may run into is, I'm going to come up here, I grab my grid, and I move my grid over. Like, wait, I've got the architect's grid underneath. Ah! Well, that could be frustrating, right? Let's look at our elevations. I'll pick uh, one of the elevations here. And I may grab my grid. This is part of my grid, right? So I'm going to drag it over a little bit. And I let it go so it lines with those. And then I drag it on in. I'm liking my grid here. I've got the architect's grid over here. Now, there's a whole bunch of wild things we can do. I'm going to make the adjustment to the visibility real quick. Uh, change this to, let's say, uh, coordination. Hit OK. And uh, we can see so it looks better. But notice what the problem we have here. I've got, uh, I've got a situation here with my grid line. Okay, So let's talk about grid line for a minute. And we'll deal with our columns in a moment, even though they're placed down below the below grade. But that's beside the point. So here we go. I want to deal with this. Now, let's go take a look at our linked model. And here's where the, the setting up work sets really pays off. Now I'll go to my uh, Manage Links, right? And I go to Revit, and you'll see I have the architectural plan with work sets. Now watch how nice this is. I'm going to come over here and I'm hit Unload It. Now when you unload it, just like an XREF, it'll unload. Just like an XREF and AutoCAD unloads. We're cool. Now I'm hit Reload. Let me hit OK. You'll see it disappears. So there's our grid, our columns, and we can tweak them however we need to. Now comes back to Manage Links. Here's where the power comes in. I pick on the plan. I hit Reload From. And here's the key. Don't just hit open. Being that I'm the structural guy, or you can do it on the architectural side too. It's all about linking and setting up work sets. What I can do is I can drop this down and I can say specify. Now, when I hit open, it's going to pull up a dialog box. It says, hey, do you want to load the architect's skin? Yes. Do you want to load the architect's landscaping? No. I have no interest in his landscaping. Do you want to load the architect's shared levels and grids? Well, actually, no. I've already got mine. So I'm going to say, close it. Now, through all the views, all the sections, plans, etc., the architectural grid is hidden. I hit OK. So now what I'm doing is, think of it like an XREF. I'm not even loading it. I'm just loading the parts that I need. So I hit OK. Notice how I see mine. It's a beautiful thing. Let's check out my other elevations. Notice, there they are. If I pick on it, I can drag it on over and line it up. OK, drag it on over, line it up. You'll see the monitoring. That's fine. But notice what's happening. No problems anymore, because all I'm seeing is what I want to see. And I'm changing these to architectural just so it's a cleaner look. Um, that's all. Change that to hidden line. OK, so see how we can have these things looking good. So a real good tip there is to understand work sets separate the information out and then working together I don't need to see your work set right now and you may not need to see uh, certain certain work sets of mine we can actually load what we need so that's a real good tip there now um, we've set up some monitoring we've learned how to work sets work in the next video we'll talk about how it really starts to work together so um, on this note we're gonna wrap this up and in the next video we'll take it further